Yeah. All right, hey everybody. Uh, so we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna do an episode where it's basically just a tour of Heritage Distillery. We figured we're here, uh, might as well, and uh, so uh, we're gonna get a tour from owner Justin. Okay. Yeah. Owner Justin, now are you sole owner or partnership? Uh, my wife and I are primary owners, and then we've got quite a few shareholders. Okay, all yeah. right. So uh, an operation this big usually does take a, a few other investors. It takes quite a bit of capital, yeah, but we're the largest independently owned distillery in Washington now yeah. and uh, growing rapidly. And um, next week we're opening the new location over in Roslyn, Washington, new full production distillery, about 10,000 square feet next to Suncadia Resort. Now this is the original, right? This one where it is the original. Yeah. yeah. And then we opened one up in Eugene, Oregon a year ago, last October. Okay. Uh, full production, just like this. Okay. Cool. All right. So uh, we're going to hand you the mic and uh, do some commentary and sure. give us a tour of the uh, facilities. Okay. So we'll walk down through here. We'll show you where everything starts. So this is our mash and fermentation room. And uh, uh, we essentially mash everything from scratch, whether it's wheat, rye grain, corn, or uh, barley, and uh, oftentimes, depending on the recipe, it's a mix of those grains, obviously, to make certain kinds of whiskeys or to make the base product for uh, a vodka, neutral grain spirit, which would can then turn into gin or other products that we make now for release or that we're working on for future releases. And uh, we are testing with some new uh, multi- dimensional molasses for rum bases as well so that's starting to come along really well got those recipes dialed in and we start to uh, produce the rum in uh, eugene in uh, december large batches of rum so that'll be coming up pretty soon yeah and then we're going to look for folks uh, nerds drink rum i don't know if you guys are gonna have a spinoff of that or not if you guys ever wanted to do the nerds drink whiskey whiskey just let us know okay. it'll have to be a bourbon and uh yeah yeah just Sounds good. So then we go over here, and uh, these are our micro stills. You see it on this line here. This is a program we created called My Batch. We let people come in and run the stills and make their own products. You know, it's illegal to make spirits at home, right? Uh, so we let people come in and do that, and we do that twice a month uh, in all of our locations. This is our big still here. Uh, the still is named Nona. This was an Italian-made still designed to make grappa originally, and we made some modifications to be able to make whiskey and vodka uh, and different types of uh, even rum. We can make rum on this if we wanted to. So it's got a very unique way of making the, the product and uh, treats the product really gently, but is also quite efficient. So we're very proud of this, and uh, this uh, is running two shifts a day now, and then we have another one in Eugene, Oregon, exactly like this, but 50% bigger. And then uh, by the end of next year, we've got a triple tower system being installed in a new location in Washington. We'll be able to fill a barrel of whiskey every 20 minutes around the clock, 24-7, nonstop. Big, big continuous plant. Um, so we'll, be, we'll have about 50,000 gallons of fermentation all under one roof. So we'll be the largest whiskey distillery west of the Mississippi River by the end of next year. Back here, we do our bottling. And uh, everything from vodkas to... Flavored vodkas, um, everything we do in-house. And uh, this year, we launched our third round of Advent calendars. This is, the, this is the design for this year's Advent calendars. And folks will be happy to know there's BSB and the BSB 103 in the Advent calendar, along with regular whiskeys, vodkas, gins. And you can see here, this is our uh, next round of packing. Get ready to load everything in for Advent calendars quite popular it's the only advent calendar in the u.s made of all craft stuff cool yeah so that's us nice. yeah that's the nickel tour uh, so when you get your mash bills and things how many different products share the similar mash bill or is it like if i you know obviously your rise and you know is one but like so when you break out a the you know how many products can you make usually out of one mash build so a mash bill is going to be very specific to the type of product you want to make if it's a whiskey. So the whiskey recipe, uh, like a bourbon, has a specific recipe associated with it. So we have our uh, Elk Rider bourbon is a high rye bourbon. It's got 30% uh, rye in it. Uh, we have some other bourbon in the barrels we haven't released yet that is uh, weeded style bourbon. So corn and then soft white wheat. Uh, we've been experimenting. You know, single malt has really kind of taken off in the U.S., American style single malt. And so we actually have been experimenting with... 100% unmalted barley. Uh, it comes off very sweet, 
unlike a regular malted barley, which has uh, some really interesting deep earthy notes that require a lot of time in the barrel, an unmalted barley comes off very sweet. And so we've been able to figure out how to get the starch conversion to make 100% unmalted barley whiskey. And that's going in the barrels. We've been doing that for a while, and we continue to fill barrels with that. Uh, we've got two types of rye primarily as a base mash bill. 95% rye is the base, a little bit of malted barley, and then we have 100% rye uh, that's still in the barrels we haven't released yet. And that 100% rye, when it comes off the still, it has a, a slight essence of grape juice note to it, really sweet. And when it goes in the barrel, it's phenomenal. Um, and then uh, a few other kind of interesting whiskey uh, recipes that we we play with we get different smoked barleys and we'll put those in as maybe a two to five percent additive to give different notes to some of the whiskeys so maybe we put some cherry smoke in uh, barley or we put some chocolate smoked barley in or something like that to make one-off single barrel expressions and uh, the more we learn about how those react in this environment in the northwest uh, then the more we can begin to scale those up Well, I thank you very much for uh, the tour, and uh, over the past few weeks, you've seen a few new products from Heritage, and uh, right now, uh, all all this uh, last couple of weeks, we've been giving away a $5 gift certificate on Amazon.com, and uh, all you got to do is be the first person to comment on this episode on our Facebook page, and uh, just include a certain keyword that is... This week's word? Yeah, what's this week's uh, keyword they have to put in their post? Heritage. Include the word heritage in your post and uh, be the first one on our Facebook page for this episode and you win a $5 gift certificate from Amazon.com. See you next week. Nerds Drink Whiskey.